But first this evening, they told the county over and over again that they were living above raw sewage because of a county mistake. But no one would listen until they finally showed the county the proof. News 13's Alex Goldsmith is live near Isleta and Goff in the South Valley with the story. Alex. Jessica Dean, I want to show you something out here. Take a look at this. This is where county crews were out here this morning digging up the road, trying to make repairs. That's where the home's sewer line is supposed to connect to. But for the last couple of years, it hasn't been connected, and that has been a nightmare. I'm not going to be relieved until the crap goes down. <laughs> Rui Garcia is laughing now, but what he and his wife Sarah have been through the past couple of years hasn't been funny at all. Bail out our feces every day. That's what we've been doing for the last few years. The couple says the problems started in 2013 after county crews made storm drain upgrades on their road. Right after they got done, we started having problems. Big problems. Sewage would start bubbling up in the house, in the front yard, and the backyard. It flooded so many times that it bowled the back wall up so bad from all the flooding. Inside, the bathroom floor has even sunk a few inches. The couple replaced their pipes and tried to alert the county. They told me it was my problem from the street, so I kept digging and tried to find the problem until we found it. After months of frustration, Garcia says a plumber found the county had never hooked the sewer drain back up to the main line two years ago. We called the county and the county told us to stop, that they would take over from there. And sure enough, crews were out there today. Tearing up the street again and fixing all the pipes so everything runs the way it used to. The county tells us it's working to make everything right. The Garcias were happy to see things getting fixed, but wish someone had listened sooner. Here we kept telling them and they kept saying it's your problem. It's your problem, you figure it out. The Garcia say because of those ongoing problems, they want the county to pay for the damage to their house. If the county doesn't, they do plan on suing. Back to you. All right, thank you, Alex. The county tells us fixing this mistake cost taxpayers $1,200. Federal